Yeah, hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome back to SnowRunner, where hopefully this week we shall uh, not go off on a rant about what vehicle, like overspending on vehicles that need too much work. Um, we probably Did we will. Go off though. on a rant? I don't think it was a rant. I, I don't think just it, cautionary no. tales. Uh, a a long-winded discussion. People love those sort of conversations, though, and this is a car game, so I assume that the people who enjoy watching this enjoy talking about cars. Oh, yeah, I bet the comments section is going to go crazy uh, on, on last week's video. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, good job I didn't read it. I'm considering um, starting to put these out twice a week, actually, because I'm not recording much at the moment. Um, can I touch, yeah, can I can touch the trailer here. Cool. Can I now... Time to anger. A week. That'll kill your <laughs> subscriber count. Um, right, now I can winch up here and hopefully get my vehicle somewhere up the hill. How about that? We're moving again. Well, we're moving again. A bit... It's a shame I'm not in front of you. You could have, uh, could have given you an assist. Yeah. On, uh, in hindsight, it was probably a mistake to come up the steepest, one of the steepest hills in the map. With You're a good at that, mate. Large tank on the back. Yeah, I am good at questionable choices. There's a um, a mechanicing channel I watch on YouTube called Wrench Every Day, and that's that's their motto: is make questionable questionable choices. And I feel like I'm. I'm holding up the, uh, the flag. Is that the term? What's the phrase? Then? I'm flying that flag or something. Flying that flag. Makes sense. Yeah, that, that'll do. I might have to get one of their t-shirts. It would suit me. Uh, let's also put some lights on as soon as it's now night time again. Oh, it's night time again. We can start complaining. Uh, you know what, mate? New year, new me. I'm not going to complain. Oh, nice. All right. Shall I complain or shall I join you? Mate, you do. <laughs> what do you think's best, all right? All right, I'm going to complain. Oh, it's dark again. I don't think my heart was in that. I figure, I figure if we do a lot of complaining, then the listener will feel the need to, like, be positive. Oh, yeah, that could work, yeah. Yeah, if we, if we, if we go if we, ham on the complaining, the viewer will go, oh, it's not all that bad. If we use up the quota of negativity, then they can... Yeah. Cool. All right. Where where are we going? Where have you got? You got I don't know what it is recently, but you have this wonderful habit of getting stuck, sitting there for ages, and then when you get unstuck, you just vanish. Just launch off, yeah. Where did you go? Um, I followed the signs for garage, so I turned right. Why and are you driving left. up the steepest part? Where are you going? I followed the sign that said garage. It said this way. Going to the garage, are you? Yeah, it said it was up here. Okay. Well, I was thinking of going to the fuel station, but. Okay. Fact, I am going to go to the fuel station. Right. I'm going to attempt... Two reasons. One, I want fuel. And two, I want to see if the way I'm going is actually faster than the way you've gone. Oh, it definitely is. Unquestionably. Without a trailer, it's going to be ridiculously quicker. I probably could... Oh, wow. Okay. He's already got his excuses ready. <laughs> it's just one of those questionable choices I make, you know. This game's about the challenge, isn't it? So you know you've got to you've got to choose the hard way. Where's there is that? Oh, I've forgotten about this bit. I may have changed my mind. <laughs> you made your bed. Yeah, I have. Not that one. The other one. Going to that one. There we go. That's the one I want. And this is going to be a nightmare. The next tree is going to be too far away for me to get to, to winch off. This is just a big game of connect the dots for you, isn't it, mate? Basically, yeah. Right, I am going to uh, reef you. I wonder if that's made it um, lighter enough that I can pull it now. 
not really. Okay, I might just ditch the trailer here again. This is going to be a running theme, by the way. Thanks for the fuel again. <laughs> I get up here Admittedly, now? I also forgot, but... Yeah. <laughs> I need fuel. You were perfectly within reach of grabbing it from me at, at one point. Should have reminded me, mate. I'm blaming you. Okay. I'm adamant. It's all your fault. Usually is. Oh. Is low range going to help me here? Turn. There we go, that helped. Oof. Momentarily that helped. Oof. Oh. All them back again now. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm sliding. Oh, yes. Come on. Right. Oh, my handbrake is not doing a great job. Can I? Oh, I can just barely reach that. Whatever you do, don't fall down further. That's actually working. How about that? Oh. Right, that'll do. Can I now... Yes, winch up to that tree. I can indeed. You know what? I may have gotten away with this. Who are you? Proud of you. It's going to take me an hour, and you'll be waiting for me at the top of the hill, having done three laps of the, the map. Oof. Nevertheless, as long as you get there and you have fun doing it, I'm sure the viewer doesn't mind. I'm hoping the viewers are having fun watching me like cheese it. I'm well, not really they're second guessing it. their uh, their request to see everything there. Yeah. Can I? I can attach that trailer. Beautiful. And then I should be close enough. Yep, indeed I am. Myself up the hill. The um, the sign for the fuel station has self on it. Does that so, mean that like you have to do the petrol yourself like we do in our country? Yeah. I've yeah, never you, noticed that before on self signs. Self service operate your your own pump like. What does do it say if it's not self service day? then? I just think, don't think it says anything. I think that's to assume the default, isn't it? Yeah. You know, in some states in the US, you're not actually allowed to pour your own fuel. Oh, is that real? That yeah, thing? I think Oregon's like that. Ooh. It's not really freedom then, is it? I felt really uncomfortable getting fuel in Oregon, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because I was in the, I was a passenger, and like we rolled, rocked up to this fuel station, and like my friend basically opened the driver's window like a crack, hmm. like three centimeters, and just put his card through it. Oh right. I was like, what? Are you, like... It just felt uncomfortable, like, dealing with, like, an uh, like a employee who's paid to, like, deal with uh, fueling your vehicle, and then, like, you don't, like, have enough trust or respect for them to, like, roll the window down for you and, like, give it a how's it going, good morning All right. kind of thing. I don't know if that's just my friend, or if that's <laughs> just, like, a general behaviour. Uh, I'm going to put a small roof rack on. Oh my god. 
you're right. <laughs> yeah, this this uh, defender is definitely powerful enough to roll itself on tarmac. <laughs> I just I just went to go see if I could do donuts in the car park, and uh, no, but I can roll over if, uh, if I try hard enough. Right, what trailers do we need? Uh, well, we need service spare parts, so we have a scout flat. Oh, actually, these can hold two things. We have a scout flatbed that can hold two cargo slots. Oh, one that can hold one we as well. We have an off-road scout trailer that can hold two. Yeah. There's also a small scout flatbed, which only holds one, which is the one I was thinking of. Or the fuel carrier, which we've already got. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm if we each get a, a small scout flatbed. Yeah, we could do that. Or do you think one of us should have a big flatbed and the other one should have the fuel? Hmm, that might not be a bad idea. I don't know. I mean, we've probably got enough fuel because we're not going too far. Uh, let's both get small scout flatbeds then. Alright. Done. I don't think you lose any value on these trailers, do you? How so? Like when you sell them back, I think you get the same money you pay. Oh, cool. Certainly on easy mode. Maybe it's not the same on uh, hard mode. I think my tracking needs adjusting. My trailer wants to go sideways more than straight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so does yours. <laughs> yeah, it's drifting. It's fine. It's the Fast and the Furious trailer. Trailer drifting, the most elite of sports. Absolutely. I like that cute little roof rack you've got. It's cool, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> that curb nearly found you out. I know, I was watching it, I was like, oh, that was a bit close, wasn't it? Um, oh yeah, we get free cargo stuff as well, don't we? Uh, service spare parts. Sweet. Oh, yes. Uh, you want to lead? Uh, yeah, sure. Because then, then the viewer gets to see what you're doing. That was a beautiful little ballet there we did. Right, everything we do is beautiful. Yeah, that's true. That is indeed very true. Have I mentioned recently how much I love playing this game again? Uh, you know what? Anytime anyone uses me and love in the same sentence, they can repeat themselves if they want to. <laughs> I'm having such a great time right now. This is good. Hopefully you are too, viewer. This yes. is fine. This okay. is fine. I'm talking to you. But I'm getting my oh. practice in for bank holiday. <laughs> Amazing. So, I don't know if that I don't know if that's sort of a general population joke or just a truck driver joke. Uh, it's not something that I was that I got, so yeah, in the UK, bank holidays are notorious for people getting their caravans out and crashing them. Oh, got yeah, yeah. So working bank holidays is often a stress. <laughs> I see. Oh, oh. I fitted my engageable diff lock, by the way. Oh, nice. I forget what it was you said that you picked up, the upgrade. The engageable diff lock. Oh, it was this one, was it? Yes, indeed. Uh, what was the one I got then? Oh, it was for a different vehicle. It was for the GMC. It was yeah, it was an uh, engageable four-wheel drive, wasn't it? Four-wheel drive, or, yeah. Uh, right. Or engageable diff like one of the two. I forget. It was it was a wheel drive. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh yeah, I, I didn't actually call in for fuel. Probably should have done. Oh yeah, same. Oh uh, no, I went in the garage, so I, I've refueled anyway, and I've now got a roof rack full of fuel too, or two cans of it. Anyway. Yeah, I mean I'm not low, but it wouldn't hurt to top up as I'm passing, seeing as it's free and easy mode. Yeah. I don't think it is at the fuel stations, is it? I think it only it's is. any attention. At your garage. Why are you stopped? Stopped to see where you were, and now I can't get moving again. Oh. Well, I'm I'm now stopped as well, so. 
Uh, let's try these new engageable diff locks. No, they absolutely don't help. I need winch Grip for diff though. locks to work. Yeah. Uh, do you need to winch off me? Uh, I may do, yeah. Can you reach me from there? Uh, likely. Oh no, you're like you're just a foot away. Okay, uh, let's go. Hang on, there. if I straighten up, I should be okay. Yeah, I got you. Ah, cool. Uh, I'd be better off winching off your left hand side, I think. Okay. Okay, sir. I will uh, just floor it, and you can pull the winch if you need to. Yeah. I prefer to use the winch as a tow rope between vehicles rather than a, an actual winch cable. Mm. If I can help it. I'm now stuck. Huh? I'm convinced the jockey wheels on these trailers are like just anchors. I've complained about this at length both in previous videos I'm sure and on stream. My wheel's just like off the ground or something. It's there we go. Oh, no, 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 still not that. There we go. Got a little bit of traction from somewhere. Let's turn the diff lock off again now. Oh no, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I'll keep that on. <laughs> I've got you in front of me so that we could see you, and now you're behind me. Well, um, whoever took it. You were stopped, so. So it was stuck, mate. Yeah. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I just went to winch onto the back of you, and the moment I clicked it, you went out of range. Ah. No. It's fine, I got, I got a tree I can use. Oh. There you are. You can now go around. Keep moving until I'm over the crest, just in case. There we go. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> you doing all right? Yeah, I'm sort of slowly but surely climbing up the hill. I've forgotten that this road had, like, was so tricky. So aggressive. Yeah, with with a load. So it's... unforgiving. So unwelcoming. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm fine now. Cool. I do love how that vehicle looks. My Landy. I think I'd like to get the, the Jeep back. Oh, that'd be fun. We can... Uh, I'll have the Land Rover pack. We have the Jeep pack. And then we can, like, be enemies and, like, pretend that we actually care. Yeah. We can have, like, fake arguments and stuff. Yeah. I like cars, and I kind of like car culture, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I just don't have time for the attitudes people so proudly have. <laughs> yeah. Every so often I'll get sad and they'll be like, oh, I remember when I used to go to Land Rover shows all the time. Those were fun. And then I'll remember some of the types of people that you'd see there and they'll be like, nah. It's not just cars, though. it's like that with many things. Oh, yeah. Anyone in any hobby can be like that. Can be a bit elitist and gatekeeping. Really? I met some blokes at a Land Rover show, you know, who thought that if it wasn't a Defender, it wasn't a Land Rover. <laughs> I was like, that's a really weird take. Yeah. And when I was involved with a Range Rover club, um, I remember at one point at a, like a board meeting type thing. Uh, the comp. This is back when the Evoke was first launched. Hmm. Uh, the conversation was raised at this meeting as to whether or not we should allow Evoke owners to join. Oh my goodness. I was like, uh, wow. That's, um, a trash opinion to have. That's awful, yeah. Are we going to exclude someone? <laughs> yeah, just who because owns we a Land think, Rover. Just, yeah, just because we think that their Range Rover is not worthy of a range, being called a Range Rover. Yeah. I mean, I've got my opinions about the Evoke, but like, I wouldn't be like, oh, now you don't count. You can't join our special club. Yeah. 
literally had uh, a conversation. Uh, was it yesterday? It was either yesterday or the day before, but this uh, individual was talking about um, tolerance. We were, I think I forget what topic it was. I think it was food we were talking about. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, they said they, they were saying how you know you should be completely accepting and tolerant of other people's like food preferences and stuff like fussy eating oh stuff. yeah like totally you know just because they don't enjoy things that you enjoy doesn't affect your enjoyment of it so you should be completely tolerant of it and then about two minutes later we're then going on about how a particular type of food just shouldn't be allowed you shouldn't be able to have that it's disgusting <laughs> and like like okay <laughs> fine <laughs> Um, I just, it was just hilarious, like how fast <laughs> they, they uh, proved their own point. <laughs> like, yeah. oh my goodness. Can you stop driving into my trailer and put up alongside me? Sorry. I want to do like a fancy pants simultaneous delivery. Ah, okay. There we go. I, I did one little, more little. There we go. Two more little pumps. Right. Cargo management. Ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Unload. Oh, hey. Task completed. Great work, thank you. Oh, I did it again. I was looking the opposite way, so we didn't actually see the rocks clear. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. You can watch it in the video. It's fine. Yeah. We've only got to wait, like, uh, two months. Hey, now. Oh, yeah, we were going to get... <laughs> I was going to go get some words. We'll go get that Chevy. Yeah. I was Chevy wondering Rolling. if we could figure out a way... Of getting it onto the one of these trailers and seeing if we can pack it. You know what, mate? I wish there was some sort of mechanic in this game so you could secure vehicles to trailers. <laughs> yeah. That'd be you know what? Mate? I was watching. I was watching some of the old videos and I was getting really angry with myself because I kept complaining about that and it yeah. is actually a thing in the game. Yeah. That uh, that was another comment we had telling us how to do it, <laughs> and I replied with like, "Yeah, we we actually know now, but." You know, enjoy the next 17 episodes where we complain about it. <laughs> yeah, we enjoy the next 17 episodes where Tango at length explains that ratchet straps are a real thing in real life and they should be the thing in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Without knowing that, yeah, they are. Uh, the devs thought of that. I like the little boxes that are hanging off the roof racks of these defenders, but they don't seem massively practical. Yeah, do we know what's meant to be in them? I don't know. I might go to a Land Rover dealership and just be like, Oi, what, what's in those magic boxes? I mean, let's be honest. I'm, I'm in a bit of a V at the minute. I know. I'd, uh, if I was you, mate, I'd trend to the right here because this divot is quite the divot. Is it a 13 tog divot? No, nah, mate, it's duvet. Oh. Different thing. Oh, well, the trailer went through it. I, I missed it. Nah, the trailer doesn't weigh anything, though. True. Right, yeah. I don't know why we bought the trailers, actually. No. Well, well, we just dropped them where they were. I want to try and get the, uh, the Chevy on the back of one of them. I don't know how we're going to achieve that. We might need to like find a appropriately height, heighted rock to drag it off of. Yeah, if its uh, approach angle is appropriate, tall enough, then uh, it yeah. might just climb on. I can't remember if this vehicle is repairable or if we have to take it somewhere. We've both got repair points, I think, so... Yeah, as long as it is Will repairable. You, why do you keep driving into me? I was trying to push you forwards to give you some grip. You were under me. Yeah, that it didn't go as planned. I'll be, I'll admit, but you went beneath me. I had honourable intentions, and I ended up just. Yeah. And that Here it is. Some words. I mean, it doesn't look like it needs repairing. In fact, I guess the no. price to say it looks immaculate. It does look immaculate. And I reckon this little divot here would be completely adequate to drive onto the trailer. Right, I'm going to jump into it. Um, change truck to that one. Does it have... It does even have some fuel. Okay, it's got a bit of engine damage. But that's all. Uh, I say a bit. A fair bit. 
But the question is... Is this possible? Oh dear. Yeah, I lost lost drive. Uh, there we go. Well, I don't play... Oh, wow. Look at it go. Right. Um, and brake. <laughs> yep, that's on. Uh, Stop it, let's go. Change truck. Okay, and... Oh, no, I've only got remove cargo, not pack cargo. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't Maybe do that. Maybe you need to strain it up a little more. I don't think so, because if I was to lower a, a load of cargo onto here, it would it would straighten it itself. I've done some really, really wonky loads before, and it's done it. I... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if just these little trailers specifically you can't strap vehicles to them. Yeah, I would. I mean, it is quite long compared to the trailer, so it might be that it takes up two slots, and that could be the issue. But I also wonder if. Um, That's a valid point. I wonder if category is a thing. So, because the vehicle isn't cargo, in inverted commas, um, it might not work, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Um, um, so, what's the plan next, good sir? Well, I mean, it's on the trailer. Oh, you want to try and take it back like as <laughs> I don't think it'll work, but <laughs> see how far we get. <laughs> oh, it's already going off. There you go. Gone. And that's how far it got. We <laughs> dropped it back where we found it. Beautiful. <laughs> In fact, it's further you... away now. <laughs> yeah, if you want to bring it up alongside me, I'll use my repair points on it. Uh, okay. Mm, change truck. Uh, oh wow, everything is a bit mounted on it. Yeah, the engine's the only red thing though. Oh no, it's not, it's a transmission, sorry. So, would you rather gearbox or engine? Uh, gearbox. Sweet. Yeah, yeah that's 78 points left. That'd be drivable now. Yeah, I, I can I've do also... engine? Yeah, go for it. In theory, I could fix the whole lot because, in fact, the fuel tank looks like it's got problems, so... I will jump into my truck. Yeah, suspension and fuel tank are all that's left. Right, repair. Um, target is going to be that one. Uh, repair fuel tank and repair suspension. And I'm now out of points. Oh wait, no, do I have... Yes, I've got some on the roof rack as well. Or is that... No, I don't. That's it. Anyway, it's now no longer leaking fuel, which is the main thing. Mind your Ow. front bumper. Bumper? Yeah. That was the wing. Oh. oh, I can't reverse because I'm in low range. Ah, oh, well, you've hit me now already, so... I love the way you say, watch your bumper, like you're not the one who drove into me. <laughs> right, just got to get it back and uh, give it some fuel now. Although I've got fuel on my roof, I forgot about that. So have I. What are you going to do with it, sir? Uh, I'll probably sell it as soon as I've already got one. Does make a degree of sense. It's, uh, yeah, it's got to be worth a, a little bit, hasn't it? Make sure you take any mods off of it first. Oh yeah, good shout. I don't think. Well, it doesn't. It looks any. pretty stock. It does, doesn't it? But it's worth checking, isn't it? Oh ho ho! Let's put some lights on, even though it's sort of daytime. Oh. Stay out of that valley. Oh, no, I was got in it anyway. It's fine. Ah, oh, she's... She's a... Uh, uh, what's the word? No. Car. Oh. Yeah, car, that'll do. Oh, ho, ho. 
You all right back there? No, I'm stuck. Oh. You need some help. That's all right. Progress is being made. Slowly but surely. I'm in front again. This keeps happening. I'm going to keep blaming you. Yeah, my fault. Uh, <laughs> my fault for not just not being fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> not even a useful place to let you pass, do you, either. Kind of on the edge of a mountain. You know what I'd like to see in this game? No. Volvo FMX. Oh. That'd be a cool little addition. Can't picture that. It's a uh, off-road Volvo truck. Cool. What about a Suzuki Warrior? Uh, I'm not opposed to it. I mean, there are mods. We could we could start maybe, maybe alongside finishing this map and moving on to a new region. Um, we could sample a mod or two. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. Just having a bit of a moment with this divot that I warned you about earlier. Yeah, I had the one that said don't drive in. Yeah. Yeah, I drove into it, mate. I did the same thing. <laughs> uh, can I still see you? No, I'm around the corner far enough. Oh yeah, I'm a little way behind now, I think, mate. No, you're not actually that far behind. It's just that I happened to go around just enough to get you out of sight. That's... Ah, mate, it's the toddler logic. If I can't see you, you're gone. Don't exist. Yeah. That's, that's the view I take when I'm pulling out into traffic on busy roads. If I can't see it, it's not there. Yeah. The problem is if you close your eyes, you can't see it, so... Exactly, so it's not there. So I can, if I can, I can close my eyes and just, like, get on with it. <laughs> it kind of looks, from my angle, it kind of looks like you've driven into a rock. Uh, you've driven towards that. a rock. Oops. I swear that that Landy's having more trouble than my Chevy is. Uh, yeah. It does have its struggles. The thing is, though, like. I don't know about like wet stuff like deep mud, but mm. like when it struggles with like rock crawling and stuff, the struggle yeah. is a lot of fun. Right. I think part of the problem is this trailer because for some reason it's nosed down quite heavily, so yeah. the leading edge of the trailer is like getting anchored on stuff. Okay. There is also the fact that I am driving it everywhere in low range, so it's just slow to begin with. Ah, oh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it most of the time in auto. Are you pulling over for me to slide past, are you? Yeah, I mean... So what, let's give auto a go then. Let's try momentum rather than grip. Oh, there's a Chevy in my way. <laughs> I did my best to pull over. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't give it a wide enough berth for the trailer. <laughs> Widen of birth, widen of swing. Bloosh. Chevy is determined to climb up on the back of that trailer. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly giving it its best go, isn't it? I like the way I refer to it as a Chevy as if that narrows anything down. Yeah. They're both Chevys. Chevy Rolets. Indeed. One pulling the other. Hot Chevy on Chevy action. <laughs> I'm in front again, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that'd be uh, because uh, you drew, uh, drove past me. Yeah, I went round the puddle instead of through it. Ah, mate, puddle's more fun. Make big sploosh. I did, didn't get car, Get car muddy. Yeah, you did get it muddy. You did that. And we need, like, oh. tidal wave effects, don't we? I think we mentioned this the other day on stream. Like, it'd be nice if you could uh, go splooshing into water and make a big splash. Yeah. 
I'll stand by it. If it was my point, it might have been someone else's point. I, I stand by whoever's point it was. And hopefully they're shorter than me so that I look tall. Whose house is this? Is this the fisherman's house or the pastor's house or is this neither? I think it's the pastor's house, which kind of worries me a bit that it's anyone's house because look at the state of the roof and the yeah. doors. Barred no, up. I think the pastor's house is opposite the fuel station actually. So I think this is someone else's. Oh, house. I thought this was the one that's opposite the fuel station. No, there's another one. This may just be a fisherman's house or yeah, just an abandoned as, house. As you'll note by the lack of a fuel station opposite. All right. Well, I thought it was near the fuel station, not opposite <laughs> the fuel station. I thought like I thought I could turn right like here and see fall into the fuel station. Uh, a bit I forgot how far down the road we were. Yeah, although I can see Arnco ahead, so we should be on tarmac. Really. Oh, you, uh, you are on tarmac. I'm still sludging away. There he goes, off into the distance. Have fun. Hey. Actually, yeah, the, uh, these houses actually look in good repair. I think it must be a pretty big help having the engine switched on on the tow truck. Oh yeah, absolutely, because then it's just not dead weight. Yeah. Oh, don't forget you've got to fill up your spare fuel reserve separately. Yes. I don't think I've used any of mine actually, I think they're still... Oh. Yeah, I, used, I, I, I took the opportunity to top mine up, I figured it's better off down between the chassis rails than uh, oh, on, the up roof, on top yeah. of the roof. That's a good shout. I've never even thought about that as a, as a thing. That being said, I'm not sure this Land Rover has chassis rails. Just managed to avoid that telegraph pole then. How <laughs> poor Chevrolet. Um, you may as well fill both. I don't know if it's worth more money with fuel than it. <laughs> good point. Chevy, small roof rack, it's full. That one's full. I've got some sand ladders on the roof of this, uh, on this roof rack, and I'd love it if you could use them. If that was like an actual mechanic. Yeah. Right, I think I've filled everything. Not 100% sure. What route is that out of a fuel station? Well, it's near a road. I just cut the corner a little bit, that's all. We went to a lot of effort to landscape that. I went to a lot of effort to actively destroy Decimate it. Decimate it. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, I just noticed my car's clean. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, me too. I wonder if that was the fuel station or just the uh, the rain. Rain, yeah, I don't know. Either or, I guess. I don't think you'd get cleaned at a fuel station. Although I suppose that, like clearing the windshield, is a, a service they offer in a lot of the US ones. And European ones, you have the equipment available to do it yourself. Yeah, when it works. Yeah. Not enjoying this hill. Huh? No. Got to gear. This is about as close to a land train as you'll get in this game, really, isn't it? Well, just a bunch of stuff winched together. Yeah. Trailer with a winched vehicle on the back. Yeah, I don't know. Change mm. truck.
I don't want to sell this trailer. Uh, park it in the thing. Oh, you got to sort of mouse over it, and then it brings yeah. up sell rather than buy. We move to garage. Okay, right. Uh, let's see if there is anything on it. Stock, stock. Can I remove them? Oh, I think they're just stock tires. Stock. Um. Yeah, that's fine. There's no snorkel on it, and there's no frame add-on. Cool. So yeah, I think I can just sell this. Um. Retain. Truck storage. Sell. That's another eleven and a half grand. Awesome. Yo, nice. Available trucks. When you say available, what oh, can afford? Can afford that? That looks awesome. I might have to buy that. I'm buying it. What are you buying? Um, a thing. Ah. Oh. Uh, let's see what. Is it a thing that's going to be useful? Uh, maybe. I think so. I think it'll be pretty useful. Oh, what's that? That looks good. Uh, that's stock. It's got... Oof. Yeah, those look better. Um... Autonomous. I can get the autonomous one. It's low strength though. Maybe I'll leave it for now. Fine. Already on there. Just got that. And that's locked. Okay. Um yeah, check out this bad boy. Aha! The Marshall. With massive old mud tires on it. I like it, I like it. <laughs> I reckon if you tried to open that back door, it would fall off. Yeah, I think it probably would. Um, <laughs> anyway, I think that'll do it for today's episode. So uh, thank you very much for watching, people. Um, please do join us next time. Go check out Chuck and Tango on Twitch. And uh, also myself, ASQ Rock. And follow all the links in the description. We will see you in the next one.